you know, the whole character, of course, was actually a Carrie type character before yes, I came yeah. in. And they couldn't get all those franchises together. And I'm like, yeah, compare it to Carrie. Yes, please do. I'll take that. But I also didn't want that to be a feeling that she had that kind of fear and creepy, you know. I wanted her to feel innocent and unsure and that she had been just really abused in so many situations throughout her life. I wanted you to feel that this girl is carrying the world on her shoulders, but she hasn't seen any of the world. You know, she's just seen this tunnel vision of, of frightful, scary things in her life. So it was a little different feeling. Yeah, no, it's a, and and it's, it's very, because like I was saying, all of the, the final girls, I guess, if you use that term that came before, really, they were just people that were in really unfortunate circumstances, but like for your character, you had such a powerful backstory of what happened to her dad and her feeling responsible. And then having this Dr. Cruz, horrible doctor, (laughs) he was so did, did you get like um, migraines or like just the day to day of like the emotions? Were you just exhausted all the time? Yeah, we read on, I think it was IMDb that because of all the crying and stuff that you gave yourself migraines. Is that true? Constant. Yeah. I, oh. I, and I was a migraine kind of person before, still get them once in a while. And oh. yeah, it was a constant migraine, constant, but it was so much fun and worth it. And, you know, you, you shoot out of order, as y'all know, but some fans may not know watching you shoot out of order. And I didn't want her to look like she was just crying through two, you know, two hours. So I had very specific levels of her upsetness and, uh, you know, would follow my notes, but it, it is exhausting more than you think to shoot. Um, uh,